got the clap out of the way. Hey everyone, how you doing? It's almost September time, which means it is definitely back to school time. So a few people have got in touch with me either through comments on previous videos or through email or messaging of some sort, asking me what my experience was of university. With it being back to school season almost September, I thought now is a good time to put together a video giving some top tips on what to expect when you go to university or wherever it is that you may be going at this time of year that's maybe not quite what you're used to. Maybe you're starting a new job, maybe you're going to college, maybe you're going to sixth form, maybe you're going to university, maybe you're gonna start an apprenticeship, maybe you're about to start an internship. Whatever it is that you're about to start, hopefully some of these tips can be used for that cause as well as for university. So first, a little bit of background information. I have always been an academic person. I've pretty much went through school with good grades throughout things like maths, English, not so much science, um, and a lot of the things that are very textbook based. I've always had a passion for photography and art and design, but it was only in my later years at secondary school that I started to put those into practice and really decided that that was a career I wanted to take. When it came to going to college, I had one of the best times of my life. I loved college so much. It was a chance to break away from school and to meet new people and to really focus on purely design-based work. It was a great sense of relief to meet like-minded people and to really just get to know who I was. When it came to going to university, this was a step way bigger than I ever imagined. I knew it'd be big, obviously. You're going to university, you're moving out, you're doing all sorts of crazy stuff. But I just didn't know how big a step it was for a personality. So I went to a small art school called the University for the Creative Arts in Epsom, which is in the southwest of London, and I moved away at the age 18 and started my own independent life, and honestly, it was one of the best things that has ever happened to me. Now I should probably forewarn that going to university isn't necessarily something for everyone, but it's something that I chose to do. So my university was very different to most other metropolitan style universities. There were literally about five different courses to choose from. The majority of them were fashion, and then there were two graphic design courses. I chose the traditional one rather than the new media based one. And then there was some writing and lifestyle based courses. So with it being such a small university, there wasn't really any halls of residence. That meant that we went straight into house sharing. That's quite a big step when you really think about it. You go almost immediately independent. For one, you have a landlord. You're looking for rent. You're sharing with complete strangers in an actual house. You're not in some sort of hybrid education flat type thing, you're in a real house. Second to that, you may have to go and buy furniture. That's quite an adult thing to do. So whether you go to a big city-based metropolitan university, a small art school like I did, or maybe even one in the countryside, then rest assured some of these tips will become very useful and hopefully will help you into easing you into that September spirit of starting university. So one thing that you really need to clear from your head is what you already know about current education systems. Literally, scrap the thought, just completely forget about it. When you get to university, everything is different. So you need to prepare yourself and make sure that you keep an open mind about what you know and what you would like to learn. So going to university presents all sorts of different opportunities for you and you need to make sure that you grab as many as you can and really latch onto those. Don't get comfortable from the start about what you previously learnt, either at college or at A-levels or even at school. Just try and keep an open mind because in the first six months to even a year, what your university lecturers are going to do is break you down. They're going to get everyone onto a level playing field so that everyone has a similar sort of experience and set of abilities and then they will start to build you up. Now this is a bit of an odd thought because you're probably not going to be aware of it immediately. It's probably only really gonna be when you get to the end of your second year, maybe even your third year, that you'll realize how important it was to completely clear your mind and break free from what you already know and what you're comfortable with. This is probably a good time to point out that initially I was aware this was going to happen. I wasn't prepared for how it would affect me. I've always been quite a tech savvy software based person. I've always had a great understanding of the digital applications that are available for design and creativity. I was hoping to expand on that and to really express myself more in the digital world with knowing about software and stuff from what I'd learned already at college. However, that never really happened. Not at all throughout all of uni. Most of what I learned was all in my head. It was all just creative expression and expanding your mind. Now that sounds really cliche, but unfortunately it's pretty true. So much of what I learned was just theoretical and just 
expressing. There wasn't a great amount of commercial or practical based briefs or tasks or things like that. You had to kind of make what you wanted from it. So that brings me on to my next tip. You need to be involved in as many activities and systems and setups and different networks and all sorts of things going on at uni as you can. But don't join them for the sake of joining them. As soon as you start to get tired of something or maybe you're just not really that involved with it, don't stick around with it for the sake of sticking around. It's, it's not worth it. You need to keep an open mind at uni. But as you go through the years, you need to channel yourself down into activities and events and different whatever to keep yourself occupied and creatively stable. So one thing you can do to help that is to work on side projects. Don't necessarily just stick to the briefs that are given to you by your lecturers. Team up with a few other people and create your own projects. Or if you want to work independently, work on some skills that you'd like to develop personally. By working on your own stuff, you can keep yourself active in your downtime between your semesters and outside of uni work. You'll be able to build up some skills that you can use in a professional environment, and you'll also build up your portfolio, which is the most important thing when you finish uni. For me, I was always working on my photography work and I then started to build up my web development skills towards the end of second year. That was all purely self-taught and it was one way of just keeping myself going outside of uni. By doing that, I built up a great amount of knowledge in digital design and has got me to many places and even secured me quite a few different jobs. So it was very useful that I took that time to be productive and to focus my energy into alternate things other than just what was going on at uni. And with regards to your uni briefs, make sure you challenge yourself. If you're gonna be doing something for a second time or something that you've previously done either at college or even at school, make sure you challenge yourself the second time you do it. You wanna make sure that you're really, really grasping the amount of time that you have available to put yourself into these awkward situations and to really experiment with what you want to do. Honestly, there's no other place where you have this amount of time to really develop your skills. So make the most of it and don't get comfortable. As soon as you start getting comfortable in something, change direction. Just go off to a completely different area and just expand whatever it is that you want to work on. University is all about being playful with your work. So make the most of it, man. So one thing you really need to make the most of at uni is all of the different networks. So think of your fellow course mates and students on other courses as extended networks that you can go and integrate with and learn more about. I learned a massive amount from journalism students towards editorial and writing based projects. That hugely helped me when writing my blog and setting up other things that were very written based. It was quite an inspiring thing to have people that close to you who were working on something very different yet connected in different ways. Also take the opportunity to go along to visiting lecture series that your uni may do. These are when people come in and will give a specific talk about a part of an industry that they are very passionate or very experienced within. By going to these talks, you can broaden your idea of what sort of career you'd like to take outside of uni. I always thought I wanted to go into advertising. When I started to look into it more, I realized that that's probably not really the right industry for me. A lot of the visiting lecturers actually opened my ideas into where I wanted to go. It kind of changed my direction for me and really helped me out narrow down what it was that I was looking for. And remember, with these lecturers that come in, they're real people. Go and talk with them, go and meet up with them, have a drink with them afterwards. They're genuine people. They, you know, they may appear to be creative celebrities or something, but deep down, they're just normal working people. They are open to go and chat. They are there to share their experience. Go and soak that up, really rinse them for everything that they know. You'll be so much better off for it and you'll be much better prepared professionally when you come to leave uni because you've already got that insight firsthand from someone who's been there. But remember, don't be a suck up to them. You've got to be genuine as well. Otherwise, you're just licking their ass. And remember, your fellow students and course mates will one day become your extended network professionally. I can't tell you the amount of times I've been recommended for work based on other people that I've either worked with previously in retail jobs or in my uni, college, whatever, all because I just knew them and got to understand what it was that they do and they got to understand what it is that I can do. A few years down the line, you get recommended for work that you'd have never imagined going for. It really benefits you to have a network of people that you can rely on. All right, with all this high profile talk about really being focused, you need to remember, you gotta relax sometimes. <laughs> 
take time to get to know your housemates and your other people. Remember that three years is actually very short. For me, it's been three years since I actually left uni. That's as long as I was in uni for. And I miss it every single day. It's a great time to just be open and really get to know who you are. Remember that there's no preconception of anyone who is at your uni. No one knows anyone. So you can let go of all of your previous insecurities and really be who you are. At this age, everyone's adults and you'll get along and it's just gonna be amazing fun. There will most likely be drinking events. I can't, I can't lie about that. And go to them, they're a lot of fun. So take time, go out, get drunk, do what you want. This is the time to do it. And with that, I'd add an extra tip. When you have available time off of uni, don't just go back to your hometown. Make sure that you spend time relaxing in your uni town. Otherwise, what will happen is you'll soon start to associate your uni town as being the place where you're most stressed and working hardest. If you always go home at every bank holiday or inter semester or any sort of break away from uni, you'll never really feel relaxed when you actually have downtime and you'll soon disassociate yourself from everything that's going on with uni other than just hard work. You need to make sure that you relax and spend time. Now, I'm not saying don't go home, I'm just saying be cautious about how often and how frequent you may actually be doing that because you could actually do some harm to yourself. Unless of course you need to go home, you know, then go home. But think about it. And finally, this is probably the most valuable bit of information I can give you. Do not play the numbers game. It honestly doesn't matter what grade you get at the end of uni. It really doesn't, especially within creativity and things like design and photography. A lot of that was all down to your portfolio. I've never actually been asked in an interview or when starting work somewhere, what grade I got at uni. I Honestly, I've never been asked and I've had a lot of jobs. The grades and scores that you got at uni, they mean nothing if it didn't deepen your creativity and expand your experiences. If you come away and you don't feel like you've actually failed at anything or you don't know what's, what's worked and what hasn't worked, how are you going to progress with something? If you're just comfortable with what you're doing, you're not gonna get very far. You may do well in the first year or two, but beyond that, what experiences are you really going to be gaining? You need to come away feeling like you've learnt a lot about yourself and your experiences rather than learning how to pass the course. And that's a huge thing. So that's it for all of my basic tips and advice for my experiences of going through university and what you can expect when you go. Now I hope by now you're feeling excited and eager to get going and I really hope it's as an amazing experience as I had for me. Although do remember that university isn't for everyone so if it really isn't the right thing you can always change, you can always do a different uni course. You could scrap uni altogether, go travel around the world and generate whatever content and ideas and big things that's imaginable, possible, whatever. As long as you're happy and you can see where you're going and you're working hard to get that, then just do it, do what you need. So I'd like to hear what you think. If you're going to university, I'd like to hear what your thoughts are about what you're excited about most, what you're anticipating the most, what you're maybe anxious about. Let me know in the comments below. And if you've already been to university, let me know your experiences too. I'd love to know what all you guys think. So please let me know in the comments and make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe for more content like this. And of course, follow me on social networks such as Twitter and Instagram, and you can get updates all the time about what I'm up to. All right, so this is me done. I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you again soon. Cheers, bye.